Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to perform an optimization on a steel structure in STAD Pro Connect Edition using the Eurocode EN 1993. For this video we're going to be focusing on specifying our optimization parameters. Before we do that let's go to the properties page through the workflow page control area and review our section properties that have already been assigned to this model. Now even though we are going to be performing an optimization in STAD Pro, we still must enter an initial section property for each of the members in the model. This will give STAD Pro the, enough information to be able to calculate your stiffness matrix and the preliminary self-weight of your structure. If we go and take a look in our properties dialog, we're going to notice that this model contains IPE sections angle sections and tube sections, and all of these sections were assigned using the European Steel Table Database that is supplied with STAD Pro. Now the way the optimization works in STAD Pro is that we will ask the program to come up with a different section size for each of the members in our model that we include in the optimization process. To do that, STAD Pro is going to return to the database that you used to assign the initial section property to, and it will assign the same exact shape that you had, but perhaps a different size. So here we can see the IPE 300 was assigned to our steel beams and girders. When an optimization is performed, it's going to select an alternate IPE shape from the European steel table. The same holds true for the angle sections and the tube sections. Now let's go ahead and return to the design page. Now there may be times where you want to instill a few extra optimization constraints on your model. For example, you may have a minimum or maximum allowable width or depth of a structural member that you want the optimization to adhere to. And we can assign that kind of information to the model through our design parameters. So in our steel design dialog, let's select the define parameters button and we're going to review our Dmax and our Dmin parameters. Now these parameters aren't currently assigned to the model, which means that the entire database of that initial section size is a candidate for optimization as it stands right now. For our model, we'll assume that the maximum allowable depth criteria will be assigned to a couple of our different section types. So let's go ahead and select the D max parameter and let's enter a maximum depth for some of our members. We're going to enter 0.2 meters. We'll click the add button which will add it to the input file. And for some other members let's put 0.27 meters. Again we'll click the add button and let's finish this off by clicking close. Now if I scroll down in my steel design dialog I'm going to find those two parameters that I assign my Dmax and my uh, 0.2 and my Dmax 0.27. Let's go ahead and assign these to the appropriate members of the model. The Dmax of 0.2, I'm going to assign these to all of my columns in my model. Now I went ahead and created a group for the columns in my model to make selection easier for myself later on. To select the group, I'm going to go to the Select tab in the ribbon toolbar and select the group icon. And from the select group dialog, I'll select my columns. I'm going to ensure my assignment method is set to assign to selected beams, and then we'll click on the assign button. Let's repeat this process for the Dmax of 0.27. This time I'm going to add this to my steel beams and steel girders. So let's unselect our column group. Let's select our roof beams, our floor girders, and our floor beams and our roof girders. Once we're done with our selection, we'll say assign to selected beams and we'll click the assign button. In addition to setting the Dmax parameters, we are going to further control the optimization through the ratio parameter, which can be found through the design parameters dialog. Now the ratio parameter is used to specify an upper limit for the ratio of the applied forces to the capacity of the section. 
In an optimization workflow, it is possible that the optimized members will fail a final code check once forces are redistributed through the structure based on the new section properties. To obtain an acceptable design, you may need to perform additional iterations until the analysis converges on a solution, or to avoid that, you may use the ratio parameter to reduce the number of iterations. Setting the ratio parameter to something less than 1.0 for the optimization commands directs STAD Pro to select members with some additional capacity with respect to the design code for allowable strength design. This builds in a margin of additional strength in the structure and allows it to tolerate the inevitable redistribution of loads that occurs when member stiffnesses change. The resulting design will be less sensitive to subtle shifts of load and acceptable design may be found with fewer design iterations required. So for our optimization process, we're gonna set our ratio parameter equal to 0.9. Now this is an optional step within the workflow and you can choose to leave it out as long as you make sure that your new optimized section properties still pass your final code check. Once I specify my ratio parameter, we'll click the add button and then click close. And then we're going to assign this parameter to all of the sections in the model that we're going to be performing an optimization on. So I'm going to highlight my section or my parameter and I'm going to select all of my sections that I'm going to be performing the optimization on, including my IPE, my angle, my tube sections. Now that we've specified our steel design code and all of the design parameters and optimization parameters that we're going to be using on this model, we are ready to start the command structure for performing the optimization. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.